Ooh, it's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Tea Parties on the Internet. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and it is so, so lovely to see all of your beautiful, wonderful faces back on the Miss Mary Lou channel. Happy four years of YouTube, my loves. I cannot believe that it has been this long. We are going into like our fifth year. That's so much time. That That's a lot of tea parties. And I'm really, really, I'm proud of us. What a beautiful group of humans and just like wonderful folks we have here. So anyway, just getting that out of the way. Also, I'm really close to 2000 subscribers. It blows my dang mind. Here we are, a new month. Happy March, everybody. And it's the first Tuesday of the month, so you know what that means. It's time for another episode of Tea of the Month, Tea of the Month. It's Tea of the Month. Tea of the Month. Oh, I, uh, I, I'm still, confession, I'm still going through some of my teas from Christmas because I, I get a lot of tea for Christmas. I'm not complaining, I'm easy to buy for, you know? And I have this gem that is just, bleh, it's so good. And the only reason it's still around is because it comes in like a three ounce bag. <laughs> so grab your scarves, grab your sweaters. It's time to get cozy with our tea of the month pick but before we get too into it if you are not subscribed to the miss mary lou channel already you are seriously missing my out please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when i upload Duh. i don't say scarves and sweaters and cozy arbitrarily oh because this tea uh, they so cute i am so thrilled to introduce to you Mrs. Byard's Blend from Geeky Teas. This black tea was made for the soft waters of Scotland served with milk and sugar. Ceylon Sonata, Black Key Moon, and Assam Melody make up this beautiful brew. You all have heard me talk about Geeky Teas before on this channel. It's a wonderful local shop. You can also buy their teas online and I needed something really, really cozy this month. Something that felt like home, but deeper than home, deeper than me. So we have a Scottish breakfast for you. I am going to confess, and I tried to find it on the internet. I do not know what fandom this is from because all of the Geeky Tees teas are fandom inspired. So please, please let me know nicely in the comments down below what Mrs. Byers refers to because I need to get better at looking things up on the internet, I suppose. <laughs> Let's talk about the leaves. So this is a blend of three different bold flavored black teas. If you look at the leaves themselves, the pieces are a pretty good size and <sighs> so malty, so, so heavenly, so oxidized, I just, oh. <laughs> Everything about this tea just smells like home. I don't know if I'm Scottish at all. I am Irish, for sure. But just there's something so cozy about this tea. And since it is so strong, and I do really enjoy the addition of milk and sugar to this drink. Now, normally I don't really add things that often to my tea, but because of these three blends and the way they come together and their strength, I feel like I add milk and sugar to like, stretch it out a little more, enjoy it a little more, instead of just like a punch my socks off sort of tea. <laughs> Which I love, there's a time and a place for those, don't get me wrong. All right, let's talk about the actual brew. Ooh, ah, uh, as you can see here, I've already added my oat milk and a little bit of sugar. I'm out of maple syrup, sad day. <laughs> So I went with raw sugar today, which is still really good. But hack, for those of you that don't know, real maple syrup makes the best tea sweetener or coffee sweetener you have ever tried in your life. I promise it's amazing. If you try it, let me know. 
When I say malty, I mean it. I love that kind of round richness that breakfast teas bring. And this, because it's a balance of the three different teas, it's just like a symphony of harmony and love that makes my soul so happy because it feels like something in the universe is in balance. Uh. Anyway, that got a little deep. This is lovely. This is everything that, <sighs> this is everything that I want out of like a tea experience like this. Just obviously warm, but so cozy. There's so much strength in something that is like this, aside from regular caffeine, because yes, it is a black tea. So it's gonna be on the higher end when it comes to teas in their caffeine level. But just having something that's so cozy and so accessible, there's such power in that when you can connect with this and have it be an experience. And it just, it, it warms you in multiple ways, you know? And I just, I needed a tea like this in my life right now. And oh, did I find one. I know on this channel, I really love to do beautiful blends with florals and all other kinds of ingredients. If you remember the last tea I featured from Geeky Teas tasted like waffle crisp. Oh my gosh. But sometimes I have to just come back to basics, what feels good, what nourishes my mind, body, and soul. And this is totally, totally it. Um, it does remind me of something like a Yorkshire tea, except the quality of the tea leaves is way, way up there. So if you want an experience very reminiscent from across the pond, but with just a little bit more care and love into it, I just, Scottish breakfast teas are really magical. I'm just a breakfast tea fan in general, okay? Also, I mentioned I put oat milk in, and if you did not know, oat milk is like the whole milk of the plant world. It's so silky, it's so smooth. So for those of my lactose intolerant friends, or maybe you just don't wanna have some dairy, I super recommend going for something like this, especially with oat milk. It just, it, it really elevates the experience. It coats your tongue. It's just so, so lovely. So friends, if you are looking for cozy in your cup, tradition meets elevated feel goodness, all with a little bit of milk and sugar, I highly recommend Mrs. Byard's Blend from Geeky Teas. I also encourage you, if you're a fan of breakfast teas in general, to explore. Maybe you've only had English breakfast and you have yet to sort of dive into Scottish and Irish breakfast. If you'd like me to do a video over the difference between English, Irish, and Scottish breakfast teas, uh, just let me know. It's actually really fascinating history, but I don't know about you. I am ready to take on my march with a cup full of love and energy and care and the time that I put into myself just to bring myself this little magical moment. Who doesn't want that, am I right? I'm curious actually, what kind of breakfast teas have you had and have you noticed any difference in flavor or how they're prepared? I would love, love, love to know. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next tea party. It's tea time with Mary. A want a two. A scoop a doo bit a doo. Thanks for watching. Tea time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe, and comment, uh -uh. I think that, that would be cool. Check out my Facebook.com slash tea time with Mary for all the content that's new. Or my Instagram. And Twitter. I'm at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us. And thanks for being a friend. And we'll see you next tea party. The fun never ends on tea time with Mary. That is me. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, what do we think of the new lighting, friends? Do we like this? I might try to incorporate more natural light in. I don't know. Experimenting. Season five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need this in my life. Always. 